Hi guys, to be here with a new video and this video will be a Elemental Shaman PvP video. Solo QRBG is finally live on the pre-patch and it is so good to be playing this uh, spec but also this uh, bracket and game mode. Finally we have CR, finally some good conquest gains. I think it's going to be a banger, like it's going to be awesome. Uh, obviously, like always be wary it is pre-patch so don't expect too much uh, from your allies obviously like always uh, it's going to be a lot of damage <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know what have ha what actually happened i'm going to uh show you after it but basically i i use some uh, good old massive damage and uh yeah i mean it's uh it's fantastic like we are finally enjoying the game that it is supposed to be for the mental shaman like it is so good to do insane amount of damage i don't have i don't have a sentence right now right? i don't have a sentence right now like i am actually like pumping this is elemental shaman for you guys this is awesome also being able to have heroism or bloodlust for the horde plebs uh, which now I also have a Elemental Shaman port, so I should maybe not say that. But uh, it is really awesome, like... <sighs> it, it's awesome to have a lot of, like, haste, which is in it now, instead of, like, relying on purely... Uh, oh, oh I slowly... Well... I'm, I got kicked, whatever. Oh, he should be dead. Well, I did my promo away for nothing. Um, but it, it, it is awesome, man. Look at look at this lava burst doing 360 Ks without any crit. By the way, I only have 30 percent, 13 percent, but I have 88 percent mastery, guys. So basically, everything is going to be triggering uh, some sort of a uh, um, like elemental. Uh, uh, what's called? What's called the, the name? Sorry for. Uh, elemental overlords oh my god it is already late for me uh, but the elemental overlords are like always present uh, so it's it's fantastic to to have that um, obviously the extra damage is also always nice do understand that in season one the stats are going to be kind of squished like once you have like 71 like once you are like level 71 those stats are going to be vastly different you're not going to have 88 percent mastery it, it adds a lot of damage like it adds 22 percent uh, onto elemental damage so basically everything uh, that is combined like it's so frost fire nature everything is like elemental damage so basically you're going to um do insane amount of damage like regardless uh, i'm going to do a lot of damage here look at this okay I'll Oh, why? Stop running, man. Look at this. Obviously. I'm gonna wait. My elemental, like, my um, nature elemental, like, storm elemental is also doing quite, quite a lot of damage, so it's always going to be quite fun. Uh, I'm going to... Whatever. Uh, we are online, so we're winning right now. Which is quite nice. Um, let's let's try to fight. I'm, I, I want to fight because I want to showcase the spec. Because people are saying that it is unplayable. Which is not, guys. It is not unplayable. Well, he's not kicking his so. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I don't have Stormkeeper. Look. No, no Stormkeeper. Okay, I have... Didn't do too much damage here, but still don't want to die. Alright. I have a shield now. I ain't gonna lie, we also have a good team, so it also helps. Um, uh, I, wanna, I wanted to fight the... The mage. Oh no, he's taking my berserk. Brother. Brother, ooh. Look at this. Okay. 
Stun him! Stun him! Yes. That's what I mean. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Lightning Bolt, by the way, without Stormkeeper, 270k. And people were saying that it is unplayable, by the way. People were saying Elemental Shaman is unplayable. Please revert the changes. They didn't do a good job with the changes. Oh no, I don't cast Lava, lava Bursts. Uh, or I don't have Lava Surges as often as you, I used to have. No, no, no. This is just a player problem, man. This is a player problem not actually, like, fixing the builds to be able to be played with uh, the right builds, right? If you're playing with this build, which is, again, normal build that you could be saying, look, it is actually relying on crits, which right now it is not the case. Um, you're all right. Like, this is... This. A lot of damage. <laughs> okay, um, I, I might be dead here. Ooh, whatever. Didn't want to Astra Shift. Was pretty much dead here. But like Lightning Bolt doing 520k. You, you think you, you don't you don't know like how big we have right now. Like this is this is insane damage. Obviously, I think it was it's, it. It seems like a bug, like 500k. Um, and people are like running like massive amounts of versatility on on, uh, on pre-patch because it depends on the gear you're having, right? But if you don't have four set and you have only PvP gear, uh, oh man, that guy. Well, now I'm going to burst on him. See ya. <laughs> hey, I mean. No hard feelings, right? Oh, please don't do that, man. I have my Stormkeepers. Like... Well, I mean, whatever. <sighs> and we are top damage, by the way. And this is not like the Lava Lava build. Like, you could still play Lava Lava build, pretty much like doing a lot of, like, Lava Burst, which is still going to be effective. Oh, man. I tried to fake cast it or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I I feel, I feel like people are like underestimating the damage of a look. The the damage is always high. Like I'm not playing crit. I, I imagine if you play crit, you you are going to do way more damage. Um, but um, obviously, I don't want to play crit. Uh, I think it's a bit clunky. That's for sure. Um, and this build works, like this is this really works, right? Uh, now, our K mages are really crazy on. The... Okay, okay, can I survive? Nah, I can't. I've tried. Paladins are also crazy. Like this is also crazy. Like 380 Ks. Judgments doing 240 Ks. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of damage. But obviously, uh, it's pre-patched, so balancing still needs to happen. But you, you see, me and the Paladin were there for the damage. So, obviously someone left, like, there's only 7 hordes, so poor them. I hope they're they're getting, like, really uh, harsh on the uh, leaving lever burst or lever um, punishments. But overall, I think, um, first and foremost, pre-patch. Soul Q RBGs, huge success. Uh, the, the, the queue times are really low, like it's like sub five minutes. So people were like hesitating for Soul Shuffle being like uh, very long queues and Soul Q RBGs with 16 players being longer, which is not the reality right now. The reality is healers prefer to queue Soul Q RBGs because they are way stronger, they're way more relaxed. But also in general, you have more DPS on Soul Q RBG. So the um, the disparity between Soul Shuffle and uh, Soul Q RBGs are going to be also uh, a bit lower. Uh, so you will have faster queues in Soul Q RBGs and, and Soul Shuffle as well. Because the DPS are like a bit more spread out. And the healers, you already have like so little healers. So 
the people that you used to only play like RBGs or used to only play random RBGs, they're going to go on to Soku RBGs because it's more of a familiar um, environment. While Soul Shuffle will always be and exist and still is going to be popular, I think I'm still always going to be focusing on Soul Shuffle as well. But my focus, my primary focus will be Soul RPGs. I think it's going to be insanely fun. Uh, you, you, you can spam it out. Uh, the rating gains are going to be still a bit lower than Soul Shuffle because obviously the games are like 10 minutes. You still have to win too. So uh, it's not going to be an easy climb or a fast climb, but it's still going to be a climb. So that's a good thing to do and a good thing to, to add, I would say. Uh, I'll be making video on uh, kind of the power levels on specs currently in pre-patch. Obviously, balancing still needs to happen, but it's a good indication on what uh, is happening right now. Uh, one thing you should note, if you're like an enhancement shaman, like fan, like me, uh, pre-patch doesn't add anything to you because uh, they haven't shipped the uh, changes from last build. So basically, the enhancement shaman changes on the talent trees are not on the live servers yet, so I don't know why, but it's still not yet uh, on the live servers. Uh, also, you are going to experience some uh, problems because a lot of like the um, spec tree and class will feel way better with the hero tons. It's also tuned in that way, unfortunately. So I expect to, to have and has shown actually lag a bit behind compared to the other specs. I think rogues right now, especially assassination rogue is doing quite good because it is like a spec that is not really relying on hero towns right now uh, because hero towns are not that good for rogue so they are going to uh, be, be a bit ahead and then you have like hunters which are like a bit weird like i think bm hunters like do really low damage like in general and uh, it's surprising but it is just how it is so some people will like it some people will not so um yeah you you, you will have to test a lot of stuff Overall, I'm enjoying it. Uh, Elemental Shaman, good rework. I already said that on the beta, but uh, people need to play with probably full PvP gear versus other PvP gear with a bit of uh, like of a real life situation, which again I kind of expect it to be good. Like two minutes ascendance with a probably um, again the burst with your probably wave with also your uh, lightning bolts being able, easy to to ca like cast in general because people are not going to kick on your lightning bolts or want to kick on your lava burst anyways so your damage is going to be always high it will always depend on on the players against you but i feel like you have a lot of uh, great things going on uh, obviously the builds i'm not going to go too in depth because um, i'm not like set on a specific build for elemental shaman I'm still like trying it out. Uh, I do feel like it does feel good. Like um, you could maybe take Fury of the Storms away because it, I, I do feel like the Lightning Elemental from Stormkeeper is not that good. It's a like a it's ah I mean it's a powerful one. I don't know. I don't know how much damage I did with the Elemental. Like only 20 Ks here, yeah. uh, and I think that's from my Stormkeeper or maybe it was not. It's difficult to know really. I will have to be testing a lot of stuff. Um, this is from my Primal Storm again. It doesn't do too much damage. I might go for the Fire Elemental to be fair, but I kind of want to pump a bit of damage. Create a Lightning Element. So that is from my uh, li like uh, my Storm Keepers. But uh, it could be also that I destroyed someone, so he didn't really got uh, time to shine. So I'll have to test it out, obviously. Um, but uh, I'll be making a video with a bit more testing, a bit more like builds that are going to suggest to the players to play it on pre-patch. Um, but overall, uh, I'm enjoying it. So hopefully you do enjoy pre-patch right now. If you don't, please let me know in the comment section below. But also, if you do enjoy, please let me know. Because again, positive does breed positive, uh, but also negative does breed negative. So try to be positive, try to think in a broader light. If you don't like your current spec, and it could be, it could be because of your hero tons not being live yet, or just change the spec, change the classes and see for yourself. I'm testing all the specs right now, all the classes, because I'm still not settled uh, on my mains or my uh, alts yet. But uh, I did make a video on how I think and my thinking process is whenever I'm thinking about a main or an alt. So hopefully you do use that kind of concept to choose your own mains and alts. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.